CDR, solutions that move people. Steel, the marriage of iron and carbon that led to the birth of modern America. A nation of mobility, born in the mills of Bethlehem and Birmingham, from Portage, Indiana to Pittsburgh, PA, and all across this great country. Steel helped us build the railroad and cross mighty rivers. It inspired us to create and navigate a new American cityscape. And it put us on the road to prosperity that led to a commercial and industrial expansion unparalleled in human history. A brave new world where coast meets coast where people move about in every direction, where the crossroads become a cross section. These dreams all came true because the men of steel and the forward thinking planners of our country demanded it. But something has happened since the golden age of steel. Today, there are more than 66,000 structurally deficient bridges in the United States. One out of every nine need to be replaced. 80% of these bridges are 60 feet or less. And when built, they represent a $28 billion market that will use more than 1 million tons of steel and create over 10,000 new jobs. But where steel once dominated the bridge industry, concrete now controls 80% of the market until now. There's a new innovation, a game-changing technology that will impact bridge building the same way the I-beam did in the 40s and 50s. One that can replace five out of every six deficient bridges in this country. One that is simpler to build, cuts construction time, is easier to maintain, has a longer service life and lowers the environmental impact. One that is competitive with the initial price of concrete bridges, yet lasts 40 years longer. One that is backed by a company that manages over $2 billion a year in American roads and bridges. Introducing the folded steel plate girder system. The first innovation and commercially viable product in short span steel bridge construction since the 1970s. It's time to start demanding again. It's time to build bridges instead of detours. It's time for the rebirth of steel.